Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we're totally checking out the brand new Lennard Toys 12 inch tall Predator action figure right there on the box. Look at that, Predator, blood splatter and all for the kids. Try me super LED caster lights, right? Nice and safe. Ish Predator, 12 inch posable figure with open jaw action. Really nice artwork on the side. Dark Horse, I think, me thinks, I think that is. Really nice on the side of the box as well. Really nice overall presentation for the packaging, especially on the back. It's very cool. Predators, the most deadly and elusive hunters in the universe have now chosen Earth, special forces, police, intelligence operatives know about these. They try to take them down, unseen predators, stock prey, and only leave you with trophies. Let the hunt begin. That's all I'm gonna say. And then they tell you all about the wrist blades and the bio helmet, glowing plasma blaster caster, jungle hunter. Again, really nice artwork on the side of the box. On the bottom talks about the batteries. You're gonna need three of them. It does come with them, but if you wanna replace them, you know, it tells you all about that as well. Do not take this thing in the bath, people. Everybody, all ages. <laughs> You know who I'm talking to. Barcode if you need it. This is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new 2021 Lennar Toys Walmart exclusive Predator line. The 12 inch tall Predator. And here's the Predator all out of the packaging. And he's a nice big tall figure. And he does have some really nice paint on him at the $20 price point there are some misaligned pegs here and there's some very big cost cuts taken especially on the back of the figure which you'll see in just a second but for what it is yeah it's pretty cool i gotta give it to him on this it's very simple but if you are a customizer i think you go to town with that i love the side cannon that will move around as well built-in led light and like i said the back leaves a little bit to be desired you do get a battery disposable picture image you got lots of screw holes on the back so if that's not really your thing yeah but for kids yeah that's definitely cool i would have loved to have had this as a kid this is awesome sit there watch the predator with your pops your family whatever dang that would be very cool nice blades i wish this was like a spring-loaded thing where they'd pop out same as on the other side you know the wrist bomb and everything a little little go pad go pro pad thing nothing opens up Unfortunately, maybe on the next version, I'm sure we'll be seeing more of these. The overall sense, just everything about this at the price point, the big figure that you're getting, it's definitely very cool. And he does have the removable helmet, which, you know, all Predators need that. It's sculpted nicely, not much to it, not really much deco paint on it, except for the eyes. But for what it is, it works. You're going to see dowel things kind of underneath a little bit. And the top doesn't really line up. But once it's on, plus he can hold the helmet. You know, he just took it off. He's going up against Arnold or Danny Glover or whatever. It's a little bit cartoony in the face. Yes, this is supposed to be for more the kids line. But it's kind of fun. It's kind of refreshing. It looks like he's having a good time. And I'm having a good time. Playing with this thing, it's pretty darn cool. The articulation on this is stellar as well. The head, not much rotation there, but I'll show you the jowls and everything else. The hair is all kind of one piece. The sculpt overall on this, I can't complain about. The caster light weapon will swivel back and forth and you can press the button and turn that on. You can push the mouth. I'll show you all this in just a second, but it's really the arms. You get nice rotation, swivels at the elbow, single jointed elbows, and the wrists will swivel as well. He's got a nice waist to him. You get a nice range of movement, so that works as well. It's a little bit loose, just FYI. He gets some nice uh, articulation out of the legs, double jointed knees on him, and he, you know, you kind of go back a little bit. The little butt flap thing will kind of hinder you, but you know, whatever. And then the feet, they don't rock. They'll kind of swivel back and forth and they'll rotate, but he stands nicely and he is secure. Now this is cool. So at the top of the head, I think it does blend in rather nicely. You push down and the mouth will open and close. I wish it was a little bit more to it. Like they were all the way closed and then they would open that sort of thing. But again, for what it is, I think it's kind of cool that they included that. And the LED caster lights, 
Yeah, you just turn that on and it's very bright, but not too bright, you know, where it's gonna put a kid's eye out. It's more of a open-ended light instead of a fixed beam, obviously, unless you get closer to further back, depending on how you want to display it. You're not gonna be putting your eye out anytime soon. Probably the goal. Now, Lennard is doing the alien line from last year. Now they're delving into Predator. 10 bucks for a six inch Predator, 20 bucks for a 12 inch Predator. The Aliens too, they got the six inch going. That's just fun. Overall, it's very Kenner adjacent. Very much that nostalgia coming back for a more modern updated audience. And as you can see, yeah, pull out some of my older Kenner Predator action figures. Now, the difference being NECA, which we'll see in just a second. Kenner is very much the cartoony, fun play feature for Predators, which Lennard does in spades. I think that if anything, this is them taking the Kenner stuff and going, here, we can still do this and have fun with it. Whereas NECA is, this is ultra super realistic art pieces, lots of paint, lots of weapons, lots of articulation, the more adult crowd. And they both succeed beautifully. You can go one or the other, you can get both. And of course, much in the realm that this is a 12 inch tall figure. Yeah, the NECA one that just released, the Assassin Predator Redeco, he's pretty much the same exact height. Again, you're dealing with a lot more detail, a lot more sculpt to it, but this one is still fun and it has its merits as well. You can even take the big Queen Lennard alien if you want to, have them fight it out. Maybe it's an unusually large predator. Maybe he is a created in a lab predator, who knows? But you can have the predator ride the queen alien. And all I'm gonna say is, this is the beauty of toy fun right here, ladies and gentlemen, having the predator uh, ride the queen. Very cool. So in all honesty, the price point, the size of the figure, the amount of sculpt, the articulation, the light up features, the movement of the head. Yeah, it's a, it's a no brainer. Come on, if you're a predator fan, or you know a kid that is, yeah, you're definitely going to pick this up. I think it's a lot of fun. I would prefer to see a couple extra weapons, spring-loaded gauntlets, you know, for the, you know, things popping out. I like the LED aspect. I wish that the mouth mandibles would open and close a bit more, but overall, I'm extremely happy with this. I think that there are ways to improve it. I think that I, there are many things I'd like to see for the next go about, if they so choose. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Lennard Predators. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, have a fantastic weekend and go find some great stuff. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.